So, over the past uh, week or two, I'm working on this fort in the woods. Down, uh, it's right down there by the dog pen. And, uh, but today it's raining. For some reason, in most of the fort videos that I've seen, it's raining, which is weird. But, so yeah, I'm gonna show you. These are the trails that I go on to get there. My mountain bike trails. I like mountain biking and whenever I get the chance I ride on these trails. But uh, I don't really go much on these trails in the summer because uh, the spiders, they love to build webs in between the trees, especially on my trails. So it's really annoying to run into them every 10 feet. Now, through these ones that I'm on right now, I've cleared most of them out because I come down here about every day now. Uh, but here's the fort, the gate, and then all the way around there's a string fence. I'm not completely done with it, but uh, just the very top right there isn't completely waterproof. But I've been cutting down sweet gums all today. And uh, so here's how the gate works there's a line that goes to a log that'll keep it open if uh, you want to get like a wheelbarrow in. And it leads down to there. And so you just pull it up and it folds up like an accordion so then the more that you do it the higher it goes and then you just take this log and put it right there you can walk right through so uh I put some sticks, like that one, onto the string fence, but since it's raining, it like loosened up the the line, so I had to like take some sticks and wind it up, and now it's really tight. But I have weapon storage, let me switch the view of the camera, that's sharp. And this is my spear, pine. This is my roll of string, very useful. Uh, I have sticks that you can actually stab people with and it won't kill them. The spear is just for like boar or dogs or something. But I didn't build it, I built it pretty close to my house. So I could come down here later because farther down in the woods which I'm pretty sure go for miles because I went walking down there one day and uh, I just kept on going and going and going so yeah all that's undeveloped um, I've taken string and put it right here just so it's a little bit stronger this rope is pretty much what this wall is on and some of the roof. There's the thing again. This is my trusted walking stick. It's, I think it's a uh, oak or maple. I don't really know. That's what color it is. The bark looks like a uh, ash maple but you never know and here's another pine spear it's also very sharp but it's not as slender as this one okay so around here more fence See, I would just like entwine the sticks in here but 
I'll show you this part. I don't know what, what my camera off the screen. But um so that those are all sweet gums. Those are weeds, those are leaves. Uh I didn't cover it all in leaves because I cleared away about maybe 30 or 40 square feet of leaves, and this is as much as it covers on the fort. So, then I didn't do all weeds because there's only a couple on the side of my house. Sweet gums, though, they grow every year, all the time, down there. They go up there, up that little walkway. But part of my trail connects, and then it goes down there to that pallet, then it goes over that hill, and all that good stuff. Let me wipe up off my camera real quick. So, that's about it. Uh, if you can think of anything that I should put on this that I didn't already think of, just leave it in the comments. It would be very appreciated. Um, but yeah, and then to close the gates, of course you just grab the log, and then it lowers it right back on to this tree. This dog would really help to lower it, which is really convenient. Well, that's it.